projectile is launched at an angle. Pew! And it takes this path and travels over horizontal ground. Assume air resistance is negligible, so we don't need to worry about the drag force air resistance. Which best shows the variation of speed throughout the entire journey from when it's launched, when it lands. Did, did, wait, wait a second. They said speed. Does that mean velocity? No, it's a little bit different. You launch it at a certain angle. That's the velocity. And velocity is a vector. So I draw a little arrow to remind myself. Speed, though, is saying I don't care what component. I just want the absolute value. Okay, so velocity has horizontal and vertical. I mean, they're all related by Pythagoras theorem. So velocity, I'm going to find a thing. This will be vx squared plus vy squared. Okay, so now when you think of the actual speed, speed, like these blue arrows that I'm drawing, these are the speed at each point. Is it going to be constant like this graph? Uh, no. Here's how we explain it. So if you say this is not, not correct graph, you must be able to explain why, if possible. So speed is pretty much the magnitude only of velocity. If you look at this Pythagoras theorem up here, the horizontal speed is constant. It's not going to change. Constant. Steady. Boom, beep, beep, all the way. La, this one. But the VY, ah, yes, this one is changing. VY equals to U plus AT, for example. It changes depending on where you are. Sometimes it's very big, sometimes very small. So cannot be constant, ready, law? So this one is out. So cannot be constant. But if I say this is Vx, ah, then it's correct. Vx is just steady, same all the way, horizontal. B is a bit... Okay, B is... <laughs> Okay, let's, let's, let's try to see how to get rid of this thing. This B here, first question is, what is this? It will stop moving one meh. The ball is always moving. How can it stop moving? Not possible. You will always have a minimum speed because of this constant horizontal velocity. So cannot be. Cannot have a zero speed. Not possible. Your object is always moving. It doesn't fly. Stop. Huh? What happened? And then fly again. Wow, wow, wow. What is happening? No, no, no. Mm, that means also D is something wrong already. Looks very nice, but what is this? No zero speed. Okay. Confusion. Your projectile does not stop moving. It's always moving. It's just the components that are changing. So that leaves us with the last choice, which is C. This uh, curvy, curvy shape is... Related to the change in this uh, vertical vertical velocity that's changing. But you will never reach zero because of the horizontal component. So I'm going to write here, there's always a horizontal component. So at the lowest possible value, this is going to be your horizontal velocity the highest position, maximum height. La. This projectile is like this one. Ma. Beep, 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 beep. At this highest point, you are fully horizontal. So your Vx is your speed. That's how you can tell between these graphs. Okay, So go stare at some graphs, learn how to think about them a little bit more carefully.